Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at the massive wildfires up in Siberia. I've made a, a unique connection with those wildfires and some wildfires that we saw on planet Earth not too long ago. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world, and I'm working on many, many more. Since we're here at the website, we're gonna hop over to the Schumann Resonance. You can see in the last couple of days, there's been some movement, some activity in the Schumann. That to me looks like a classic comet signature. I've seen that before. Actually, it was uh, many years ago on a much larger scale. We've just recently had the close approach of Comet Neowise with planet Earth, and I'm pretty confident, at least 99% sure, that is a comet signature, and that would be from Comet Neowise. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera. Business as usual, as we're seeing more and more energy flow through, around, and across the caldera of the supervolcano. That seems to be the new norm. It's more active these days than it is quiet. Years ago, I can remember the seismographs were actually quite boring. You would see a little bit of magma intrusion every once in a while, and then of course a earthquake here and there, just a random bit of movement across the caldera. And now it seems like it's made a like a 180 degree turned where it's more active now than it is quiet. It is what it is. What exactly it means, I don't know. We're just simply observing, kind of like we are, the wildfire smoke up in Siberia, northeastern Siberia. This would be directly west from Alaska. These have been burning now for quite some time, and they're quite large. We're here at nullschool.net, and we're looking at the carbon monoxide output. And this one wildfire plume alone is emitting 12,300 parts per billion. That is insanely thick. In fact, I've got a little video clip here from a satellite in space that was put up by NOAA looking at the smoke right there from space. And that's just uh, about two or three days old. This has been going on now for several weeks. And I, I made an interesting connection with these wildfires that you're looking at right here that are currently uh, ongoing up in northeastern Siberia. Quite large wildfires at that. I looked at the Australian wildfires from 2019 into 2020. These were burning uh, quite robustly clear into January and February of 2020. And I made an a interesting connection, a, a, an unusual coincidence, if you will. And here's the wildfires from Australia. I'll post the link down below, you guys are all very familiar with the wildfires from Australia. If you go to Google Earth and you look at the, the wildfires currently burning up in Siberia, they're at the 150 degree east longitude. In fact, they're right in here. And I can confirm that with Zoom Earth. We're going to go to Zoom Earth, and that's the exact location right here. See this surface feature here that looks like a half moon? There it is right there. The wildfires are burning on the 150, right there next to it, see, they're right there. That's exactly 150 degree east. If you back up and go straight down and follow the 150 longitude, 150 east, takes you to Australia, exactly where the wildfires were burning. And I'm going to turn this back in time, which you can. Let's go to daylight so we can see what's going on. Watch this. This is very interesting. Okay, so we're going to go back to, let's go back to December when the wildfires were burning in uh, Australia. They burned for several weeks, just like the case in Siberia. There they are, and that's at the 150 degree east longitude. And if you go straight north of that, go right up here, and we're going to step it forward to July. Watch. And there they are. Wildfires, 150 degree east, exactly. Not 145, not 165, 150. And if you step it back too much, you're going to go from water just into to May, solid snow and ice. June, starting to melt, then the wildfires kicked in. Again, that's at the 150. Then currently, that's July. That's where we're at right now. So I found that quite unique. I think that's way more than a, than a coincidence. Seems like to me something is influencing the Earth at the 150 degree east. Right here, there were wildfires. 
go straight up to 150, and there's currently wildfires there on planet Earth. How's that possible? Exactly what it means? I'm not sure. I just thought I'd point that out and, and share it with you guys, as I did find that quite interesting and way more than a coincidence to me. Now we're going to hop over to the new picture slideshow I put together. You guys have sent in some incredible photos. Wanda out of Loudoun, Tennessee said this reminded her of a what looked like a person holding a hammer or something up in the sky. And I agree, it, it's very unusual. Colorado Springs, Colorado, Andrew F. Looks like some sort of a beehive up in the sky, a orange beehive all by itself. Look at that thing. Great observation. You guys are wide awake and on the ball. Brian P. Photo sent in by Patrick from Sugar City, Colorado. That's about as ominous as it can possibly get. Angela and Carrie out of Winnipeg. Another very intense double-decker rainbow. Seeing these now pretty much on a daily basis. Another photo by Angela and Carrie of a, a low-riding shelf cloud going over Winnipeg here recently. Very strong rain shaft right there in the center of the, the shelf cloud as it's cruising over Winnipeg. Photo here out of Indonesia sent in by a nod of some amazing lenticular clouds. We've got one, two, three, four. It's actually hard to count. They look like plates stacked up in a, in a kitchen cabinet. Just incredible. Once again, coming out of Indonesia, photos sent in by Anad. April S. out of Bristol, Virginia. This passed over her location twice. They appear to be refueling, but the only thing is you don't see any type of connection between the two planes. They're actually flying very close together, but there's no connection. And you can hear her say this is the second time they've circled. They appear to be refueling, but it's very difficult to, to see the, the refueling line. That's all. But those are literally right on top of each other. I mean, you talk about pilot work to at a, at a whole... That's a, a master pilot right there to be able to do something like that. A couple of amazing pilots right there. Blythe, California. Cruise J. Notice a big square up in the sky, Chris, from... Ormond Beach, Florida, of a unique cloud or, or trail left behind a, a recent rocket launch. North Carolina, Evelyn W., big orange cloud that kind of looks like a beehive of its own sitting there in the sky. Frank R. out of Fire Island, uh, New York, another low-riding shelf cloud. Almost looked like you could reach up and touch it. There's a, a thick rain shaft out over the water. Low-riding dark clouds, Clayton, North Carolina. Photo sent in by Sal. Very busy sky here. All kinds of colors. Looks like a water painting of some sort. Shane E. out of Lavaca, Arkansas. More low riding. Very dark, ominous looking storm clouds. These look like a collection of roll clouds in the sky. Laying next to each other. Uh, very dark skies. Once again, a lot of contrast and, and just very unique. Cape Creek, Arizona, Shelly P. Let me pause this here for a second. She noticed what looked like right here. If you look real close, and I'm going to uh, adjust the format here just a little bit. I don't alter it in any way. I just adjust the lighting and stuff. I mean, talk about great observation. She noticed a triangle in, in the sky here behind these clouds. Look at that. See it right there? It's totally obvious. I mean, if, if you look at it for a second, you can see it. And she had the presence of mind to not only notice it, but take a photo of it. Trisha Iron Mountain, Michigan. Beautiful photo here of the moon and some amazing orange clouds. Speaking of orange, Trevor out of Paragold, Arkansas. I mean, it just simply can't get any more orange than that, except maybe for this one here when the sky literally looks like flames. This is a photo out of Holland, sent in by Zuvu77BV. Literally looks like flames in the sky. That's how I received it, too. Grand Haven, Michigan, Rose W. We've got a horizontal rainbow in the sky. Some sort of a colorful feature laying across the sky. Gina, another unique uh, storm cloud here just kind of hanging around all by itself. Jimmy S. out of Alaska. Job, big halo. Got a halo around the sun. Awesome roll cloud here sent in by Joseph M. I'm not exactly sure of the location, but that is one spectacular.
spectacular structure. Kind of narrow, but very long, expanding for as far as you could see. Maria C, unique cloud in the sky. Almost looks like a comet went through the clouds. Look at that. Great photo and great observation. Lena M from out over the Irish Sea. We've got some more roll clouds. And also, before we let me go back real quick, she noticed this right here. See that square feature? I've got another video coming up. Actually, a video and a photo of more of this square feature phenomena that's kind of been picking up here recently. Looks just like that, what Lennon noticed out over the Irish Sea. We're going to see a video of yet another square cloud. I don't even know how that's possible. Mark P. and Coastal out of Asheville, North Carolina. Another unique roll cloud. And the sky was kind of a, a light purple. That's how I received the photo. And you can see there's maybe two here. One back here and then the obvious one in the front. Mary B. out of Florida. A Kodak moment here, if you will. Spectacular sunset. Rob out of Washington. This is very unique. You got the sun here. I don't know if this is sunrise or sunset. I think it's sunset. And then this feature up here, it looks like it's maybe part of a, a halo, but the halo's not there. And we've got this bright feature high above the sun. Look at that. And that's exactly how I received the photo. That's what Rob saw in the sky. That's why he took the photo. Rick B. out of Tempe, Arizona. Very colorful clouds in the proximity of the sun in Earth's atmosphere. I mean, it looks like somebody painted those with a paintbrush. Unbelievable. I see that every once in a while, but I've never seen that much at one time. Great observations, guys. You're wide awake and on the ball. Keep the photos coming. If you guys are new viewers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. And if you're current subscribers, double check. Make sure you're still subscribed and make sure that bell is still activated. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos eventually end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery, and sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.